making a Stuart model steam plant at part 79. Rubbing down and varnishing the baseboard. How many coats of varnish should I apply? Over the years I've taught myself how to do quite a lot of useful things. And also over the years I've made quite a few steam engine baseboards. I am nowhere near a professional painter, but nevertheless usually I get quite good results. In a previous episode I gave the baseboard the first coat of polyurethane varnish and I pointed out that I hadn't bothered removing the mahogany dust that covered the baseboard after the power sanding operation. The idea being that the original application of the varnish using a cloth would sweep all the dust particles into the gaps and give me a more homogeneous surface. I must admit I did give this original coat of varnish quite a long time to dry because I have been very busy with other projects. But now it's time to bring this series to a conclusion. There's still quite a bit to do but I can't go any further until the baseboard is complete. What I'm doing at the moment is rubbing down the baseboard with some 400 grade wet and dry sandpaper used dry in this instance. And you will notice that usually I'm trying to sand with the grain but this is not always possible. After this initial coat of varnish the surface was a bit rough because it was after all a mixture of varnish and mahogany particles. After rubbing down the baseboard with this 400 wet to dry sandpaper it feels a lot smoother to the touch but it's still basically the same. The mixture of varnish and mahogany particles have just been ground a bit smaller. I now need to thoroughly clean the baseboard and for this I'm using methylated spirit. All I have to do is apply some of this stuff to my cloth and thoroughly wipe the baseboard with it. Do not under any circumstances use cellulose thinners or lacquer thinner for this job. Methylated spirit will not attack the varnish. Once I'd thoroughly cleaned the wood I gave it another rub down with a piece of scotch Bright. In case you don't know what scotch Bright is it's actually like a scouring pad and it's not too aggressive but it does remove material when you're using it. It's very good on copper, steel, brass and also wooden baseboards. After giving the baseboard a thorough rub with the piece of scotch bright, I then cleaned it a second time using the cloth with a small amount of methylated spirit on it. Notice that the baseboard is on two pieces of timber. This is to keep it off the bench because I don't want the edges to pick up any debris from the bench. It's now time to apply a coat of varnish. Here's a brush I'm going to use. It's a nice brush is this. It was very cheap and cheerful but it doesn't seem to shed bristles and gives quite a smooth finish. I washed the brush in some methylated spirit to remove any dust and then I wiped it over the baseboard and now I'm just letting the baseboard dry. This is the type of varnish that I always use. I know this looks like blatant advertising and before I go any further I'd like to mention that I have no financial dealings or advertising deals or sponsorship deals with the company that makes this varnish or anyone who sells it I always pay full retail price for it. I'd like to take this opportunity to mention though it's not the best stuff to apply direct from the tin. You get a sort of varnish look. The sort of finish that I would get on my shed door if I used this to varnish the door. My varnishing I suppose is a little bit unorthodox. In this clip I'm using it straight from the tin with a paintbrush and it's going on quite thick and I don't want to finish like this. The system I use is a bit of a cross between varnishing with a paintbrush and French polishing. This stuff is definitely not shellac or French polish and as you can see it's not looking too good. What I'm going to do is wipe away the varnish using a cloth but first of all I dip the cloth in some white spirit. Doing this changes the viscosity of the varnish as you wipe it with the cloth. As you can see I've applied quite a generous amount of white spirit to the cloth and now I'm wiping over the baseboard. There is an immediate difference. When varnish is a bit on the thick side brush marks often don't disappear. But if the varnish is thinned then you don't get brush marks. To be honest I'm not bothered with this coat because I need it to cover the grain and once it's dried I'll be sanding it back with some wet to dry sandpaper once again and applying another coat of varnish. After a few of these coats it should start to look okay. Here I'm pouring some white spirit into a plastic box so I can keep my brush in this for the next time I use it. 
I wipe off most of the varnish from the brush using a cloth. These next few clips are taken from my How to Build a Model Steam Launch video. The finish on the decking of this model steamboat is created in exactly the same way as I've just shown on the baseboard of this steam engine, but there are differences. This mahogany is a finer grade. It's for the planking on a steamboat, whereas the mahogany strip I've used for the baseboard of the steam plant is a bit coarser grained, because they are, after all, supposed to be floorboards. As you can see on the boat at the moment, I'm using wet to dry sandpaper, wet. The principle is fairly simple. You start off with the dry mahogany, you rub some varnish into it, rub it down, apply some more varnish, rub it down again, and so on and so forth until you get the finish you want. I don't want a finish like this for the floorboarding of an engine house. I've never had any problems with this varnish, and don't forget it's Ron Seal hard glaze varnish, but I do feel the need to mention that I never use the water-based stuff. This is the original type of varnish, and I find it to give a very strong and durable finish. Often I only put one coat of varnish on a baseboard and rub it down, but for this steam plant I'm going to give the base a few more coats. That is it for this episode, I need to quickly vacate the workshop so I don't create any dust. And also, I don't want to inhale the fumes. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.